today i got a crazy one i got a long overdue one i'm gonna go ahead and be doing this drip do over part two the next video i got is so crazy bro i just can't find any fabric for it but like basically i got some ai inspiration and i'm gonna sew up some insane drip that i don't even know if it's possible to sew but enough of that let's get into the drip do over part two with that sweater all right y'all this is really off the dome right here i got a patch that's, that i'm gonna cover up the chaps logo with and i'm gonna probably heat press some vinyl onto and sew it on and then i don't want this i'm gonna take this ribbon and try to make some like bondage straps or something with it but i'm gonna take this off and then cut a high low crop but let me go ahead and cut this off real quick by the way don't ever cut like this you want to cut laying flat like this i'm just wilding right now all right now that we've done that probably gonna cut these in half hmm hmm no, I'm going to keep these like this. I need to make sure it fits, but I really want to cut the ribbing off the sleeves as well for more straps. And because I like the unfinished um, look. Okay, I'm going to throw it on right now see how it fits so I can see how much I need to crop it and to see if I can cut the cuffs off. Okay, so just from cutting the ribbing off, I'm liking this way better. And I like how the, it sits in the back, so I'm just going to level off the front to the back. And then I'm probably gonna cut myself a nostalgia cross for the back, surge the edges of that, leave the thread tails on, cause I like that look. I did that on a, uh, a bomber once. And then um, I'm gonna design that logo for the front, cut the sleeves off, cause I can take the sleeves off. I had enough. And then, yeah, we'll see where that takes us. This is me leveling out the back to the front, snipping off those sleeves. And I went ahead and went to the computer Got my logo, got these wings here, cause you know we get fly. Thicken them up some so that Cricket wants to cut the holes better. And now I'm just throwing it on here, erasing one, duplicating it, flipping it, just so I can have two separate ones. Now I'm just gonna position it up how I like it. Got it in there, realized it wasn't really the proportions I was looking for. Took it back to Photoshop, tightened everything up a little bit, got it the sizes I needed it to be. Do that back in the Cricut design application. Everything worked out smooth, so I went ahead and cut it. Okay, now that I finally got through all that, I got my design on the Cricut now, and I don't really know how it's gonna come out, but let's see, and then we'll just have to peel that off and then start that heat press up. Okay, so for the most part, we're done. I just stabilized this ribbon that I'm gonna use to put the heat press on. Kind of mad I didn't have any black, but I'll live with it. Let me just cut the rest of the stabilization off so I can throw this heat press on. Okay, boom. We got it stabilized, we got the heat press. Let me make this hot, and then all I'll have to do is cut out my nostalgia cross, throw that on the back, and we'll be done. I just heat pressed it once, and when I like to heat press it, I like to do it once with the Teflon, and then once without, so it can kind of sink into the texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few more seconds while that sinks into that, and then let's go ahead and cut this cross out. We're just finishing it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of textured. And that's how I know it's really in there and it's not going nowhere. But thank God I, those holes work. Because sometimes the cricket just doesn't like to cut with me. Once again, I'm kind of mad I didn't have the black, but we will make do. All right, so this is where we are now. And that's going to look amazing when I sew that on. So let me flip this over and go ahead and see how big I need to make the cross and cut that out. other fabric was making me angry so i got this abstract cross going on here i'm gonna go ahead and surge these edges up and stitch these on we'll pretty much be done i had to beat up my serger really quick because he thought he was that guy but he don't know that's me so I had to show him that real quick This is me just stabilizing every piece of the cross. Getting those ready for the heat press. Heat press, heat press, heat press, heat press, heat press. 
Okay, so I got everything stabilized, everything surged up, pinned up. The garment is pretty much done. Let me go ahead and sew this together for y'all. Sew the front part down, and then we'll get some, we'll get some glam of some glam of vids, some glam of shots, and that'll be it. Let me get into it. So you heard that boy. The last sew up, an easy one, just a bunch of rectangles. Y'all. I, when I say I did the drip over, I did the drip all the way over. This guy is hot. I'm loving it. I really just need to go throw on a fit now and go outside and get y'all some shots. And that'll be that. I'm really low key surprised I finished this in one sitting. It was a tedious one, maybe like two hours and 30 minutes, but regardless, in and out really one day. And now I can feel a little ease, you know, feel a little at ease, a little less stress on my mind and, you know, really take my time with that AI video because that's a banger. Y'all stay tuned for that one. That one's going to go crazy. But yeah, while I'm doing this, make sure y'all go follow me on my socials. I'm doing a crazy sale right now. If you want anything off my website, I have so much inventory. I need to get rid of it. So literally DM me anything you want off my website and I will just like shoot you crazy bundle deals. Just let me know everything you want and that'll be that. Let me go ahead and throw a fit on real quick and then I'll catch y'all outside. Bada bing, bada boom. You see the boy stunting. Little edgy drip. Look at this silhouette. I threw a light fit on today. Nothing too serious. You know, just enjoying the pool. Yeah. Little Assassin's Creed headscarf going on. I'm trying to drop these later this year, honestly. Once I, you know, get my get my capital back up. <laughs> Deep hood, block the shade. Oh, yeah, I'm loving this though. It's clean, but it's still edgy. That's really what I strive for when I make knit stuff. Oh man, that boy sits perfect in the back. Big, nice back logo. It wasn't ready for this one, I promise you that. But I still bought it to you, because that's just what I'm going to do every time. Thank y'all for making it all the way to the end, because you really didn't have to. Y'all are crazy for that, bro. Like I said, I had a fun time with this one. I'm glad I got it out of the way. Now I can really take my time with that AI video, because like I said, man, it's a banger go ahead and tap that sub tap that like button drop a comment of what y'all want to see me make bro because i can make anything that your hearts desire but yeah remember the past because that's who made you the person you are today